In this video, I am going to show you how you are going to choose your field of study, which area you have to target. The material selection basically. I will explain all these steps which will help you in finding your research groups or your target area. For instance, how university website will help, Google Scholar, Web of Science, Research Year, reading, reading research articles. The question is, for instance, these are kind of materials you want to work, but how you will know that magazine is good, graphene is good. And let's suppose you understand that magazine is good, then how you have to target your uh, potential supervisor, which university you have to go, which university. Or if similarly, when you know some application, this one is easier as compared to this one. When you know, but how you have to target uh, your uh, future group or which university. Uh, before this, as I explain uh, that uh, there are four steps involved in every research, every study. The first one is material selection, uh, a research area, uh, what area you call the field. Uh, when you select your material, then you have to use some methods in order to synthesize it, to prepare it. Then you have to characterize and then you have to use those materials in some kind of applications. And I further explain that the left hand side too are very, very important because they play a very key role. When you select something here, so it will be, it will have a significant impact in the application as well. The, the right hand too are just the supplementary and supportive uh, stuff, right? And I further uh, expand uh, the, these four steps, right? Uh, now let's come to our own video. For example, uh, how, how you will know that uh, which material is good or uh, uh, which application I have to go. So let me show you uh, very easily how, how you have to take help from uh, Google Scholar, first of all, right, from this one. So let me go to my Google Scholar and I will show you how you have to uh, take help. This is my Google Scholar, right? And the, the, if you have Google Scholar, okay, if you don't have, so you have simply make Google Scholar account, right? When you make Google Scholar account, you have to click this uh, search button. Any field you can search, but you know, but m let's suppose I want to search the material science because this is my field. So when I click material science, so all over the world researcher just appear in front of me. You see here, you go to next, next. So these are all researcher uh, across the world, uh, which they are working in uh, on material science, right? So let's suppose, uh, because you have to do some search, let's click this main. When you click this main, so from the Google Scholar, you have to also see here that he is interested in electronic structure, uh, condensed matter physics, material science, nanotechnology, you see here. Uh, or if you want to go into detail, so most of the Google Scholars, they put the, the home page here. When you click the home page, so you will reach to the uh, groups, you see here. So in this group, you can see, you see postdoc opening. So, for example, if you are interested in postdoc, so you have to apply here. These are the group members here. You see here, these are the group members. And individually, you can go and you can see uh, what are their interest field, right, from home. This is how uh, you uh, search your uh, target area. Let us go to the second one here. The second, when I click the second one, so this is, you see here, it is more specific here. Uh, he, he, his, his work is carbon, nanomaterial, energy storage, supercapacitor, magazine. You see here, very interesting. And he has also a home page link here. When you click on home page, uh, you can directly go and see uh, what is happening basically there and what is his expertise, right? You see here, it means he is targeting a magazine here, right? So you have to uh, work on this website in order to find uh, your potential uh, group or potential supervisor, right? So here you can further go to uh, magazine course, you here see the team here, everything you can find here, right? So this is one way how you can take help from the uh, Google Scholar. Similarly, Web of Science, uh, Research Get, uh, let me show you university, how to uh, take help from university. So let's go to one university, I just already opened, this is university of the University of Adelaide, right? So when you uh, write here, university name in the Google and just go, to the university website, this is material engineering department. So material engineering department, uh, you can see here a lot of fuel are here, circular economy, for battery material, photocatalyst material, 
energy storage material. You see here, a lot of apply, uh, application in material. Nano material for fuel cell electrodes. You see, graphene and 2D material. So here, you have to find your target material and then you have to uh, apply. Or for example, here are just professors here. Let me click this professor. So when you click this professor, and it will open his research profile. And further, you can see his, his interest. Nanomaterial synthesis and application, fuel energy conversion, etc. This is how you find uh, stuff uh, using uh, the uh, uh, Google Scholar uh, or uh, university website. So this is how you target your uh, uh, future uh, research group or uh, your study. Uh, the, the, the university website is the best one. Uh, and they have all information there. The second, the most important is the Google Scholar. I strongly recommend this one. Research Gate as well. I don't want to practice all because the video is going too long and people will not be happy. Uh, you can also ask from your colleague that uh, uh, if he is there, I mean, if he is your senior, or if he is uh, your relative, so he can also help to find the specific area. And the last one I want to show is basically the research, uh, reading research article. This one is the most important. For example, uh, I have opened this one paper here, recent progress in 10 based perovskite solar cell. And from here, you, you see here, there, there are two authors. So uh, this is basically, uh, they have ID, this is called ORCID, I will make another video on this one. So you can directly click this one and you can go to this field, what is basically his interest here. So when you open it, so you see here, all his information is basically uh, here. You can see here. This is his interest of field here. And they, they, they have also another ID. So when you click here, so it will open another uh, ID here. You see Web of Science open. So here you can also see some stuff. And this is his Scopus ID. So you, you can go. This is his Web of Science. You see? This is his Web of Science. So you can see all information related to him. This is, you see, highly cited. It's from Hong Kong Polytechnic University, right? And this is his qualification, and this is uh, his research areas. So this is how uh, research article also help you a lot, right? And if you if you directly see here, uh, there must be this is a corresponding author here, the star mean corresponding author. You can directly uh, communicate with him. So if you come down here, so you will must see his his email, etc. You see here, this is his email. Just directly here, and email will be open here. Just put the subject line and ask the query that I'm interested in your field, blah, 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 right? So this is how uh, uh, we choose our uh, material or we choose our field or area, uh, which group we have to target, right? Uh, this is another uh, interesting slide. And uh, uh, I want to explain that uh, how you will know that which material is best, which is not best. So it will also, uh, from your previous study, uh, it, you can also get help from instructor, and you can also use your mind brainstorming. But these techniques, the brainstorming in previous study, once you read research article, if you don't read research article, where it will come from? <laughs> How you will brainstorm? We brainstorm and we use our mind when we have something, when we saw something, when we watch or hear, or when we read something, so we can use our brain or mind, right? It's like previous study from YouTube, you can take some uh, help. But uh, I strongly recommend uh, that uh, the, the university website, the Google Scholar, the reading research article, these three are strongly recommend that you have to look into it so that you can choose your best uh, field uh, and that will be the, 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 the very important for you in the future, right? Similarly, research gate also help you in Web of Sciences, I explained Web of Sciences is also very important uh, in order to know about the field, about the material selections, all these things.